For getting a passport database restored, I first downloaded the zip file with the database. It's here on my desktop. I then grabbed the file from within the zip and placed it at the root of my C drive to restore a passport, actually to restore a SQL database. The, the database file, which is suffixed with .bak, needs to be uh, at the root of the C drive. That's the easiest place that I found to do it. Um, next step is to start up SQL Server Management Studio. I've got SQL Server 2005 loaded on this PC, so I will start that up. The first message box is, can, is uh, the connection to the SQL Server engine. You should connect with the SA login that was originally set up when you installed the database engine. Uh, in my simple case, the password is just ASAP in the lower case. That may work for you too. I'll hit connect. Within the management studio environment, uh, the top left pane is the registered servers on my particular Windows XP machine. The bottom left pane is the object explorer. And if I expand on databases, you can see that I've got lots of databases here. One of them is simply titled Passport, and that's the one that we're going to be dealing with. If I right-click on Passport, I can go to Tasks, and I can choose to Restore Database. When I do that, I will get a dialog. Basically, I'm selecting the destination, and the destination is Passport Database. Uh, the source is going to be from Device, and when I hit this dot, dot, dot button, I'm actually going to add the location, which is the root of the C drive, where my passport.back file is. This is the passport.back that I downloaded and placed on the C drive. Uh, the file name should show up as passport.bak, and then I'll hit OK. Uh, I'll OK that path. It then shows up here as what's called backup sets to restore. I'm going to check mark this because there's, there's only one backup set. There's not a history of backups in here. Uh, on the second page in this dialog area, I'm going to choose to overwrite the existing database. And that's all I need to do. I'm going to scroll up just so that I can press the OK button and you can see that. When I do that, you'll see that it, the backup is executing. And I get a message that it uh, restored successfully. So I'll press OK, which will close that window. The next step is to run that database fix script. Uh, it's simply called restore DB fix login. It was part of the email. If I open up that, same idea. It's going to fire up Management Studio Express. The idea is that the script is going to show up in a new query window. And all I need to do is press the Execute button so that this script executes on that Passport database. And that's all I need to do. If I exit out of there, at this point, I can simply launch Passport and log in like I normally do.